the, the best way to get the perfect idea is to acknowledge that there's a challenge, a problem, and then people with different knowledge sets, experts, they come together and try and solve that challenge. Usually that's how you get the best innovations or best ideas out. World is ridden with environmental and social problems, climate change, poverty, refugee crisis, which easily make us hopeless. But these problems can also be sources of new innovation. Consider, for example, Jakob Asman. Uh, he had a very personal experience when going into the Bavarian uh, Alps and mountaineering. And he saw the retreat of the glaciers and he wanted to do something about it. And that's one of the reasons why he founded Polarstern, a sustainable energy provider based and located in Munich. We studied sustainability-oriented innovation of product services and business models. Rockfors supplies the construction industry with insulation solutions made from stonewall, a non-flammable, recyclable insulation material that protects from heat, cold and reduces noise. Why don't we try and make a tent out of stonewall? And then they just in half an afternoon, they made something out of stonewall and gaffer tape and some loose structure and, and displayed it at the festival. And that was the offspring of where the development started. It is a improved living condition for people in need, refugees it could be, but it could also be other people needing a short-term uh, placement or occupation for living. What if we could help people, wouldn't that be nice? The Helsinki-based startup Green Riders offers a ride-sharing service for commuters. I got the idea of Green Riders around 10 years ago when I was driving Lanzivalo with my daughter Osland and um, on the way she was every now and then wondering why there's so many lonely cars with so many lonely people at the car. We are providing the service mostly for companies which are offering green riders for all their employees to make their commute easier and, and, and more fun. Skanska is an international construction company. Together with IKEA, they wanted to make home ownership a reality for lower income households. Book look housing, uh, the idea is affordable housing for the many people and uh, one of the key things was to find out what could have a typical customer and that's a single mom or dad with medium income with one kid. How much can they spend money on housing every month? We were surprised to see how much companies sustainability innovating can benefit from working together with external stakeholders. Just imagine that you have your set of skills and you know everything in that area. It blinds you to all the other areas. So what you invite people in actually opens up the blind spots. So you get a broader perspective and typically you get faster through the iterations. We even take a, a challenge to a certain point and we say, we leave it, but then we throw it to a university group and say, can you please do a life cycle analysis or investigate the market needs for this? Rockwall worked with the non-profit organisation responsible for organising Roskilde Music Festival and used the venue to try out the shelters as an alternative living solution to regular tents. And, and what they have provided us with was, we call it our living lab. We can test things for real out there, which is something that you can certainly not buy or not do on your own. From early on, Skanska worked with a variety of stakeholders, including the local municipality, universities and consumers. I think it was the first time we gathered such a broad uh, group of people from different backgrounds around one table. Uh, now when we are developing a new product, uh, we also need to collaborate with the municipalities much more, talk with consumers or whatever your target group is, test it early on because you win so much time in the later phases. Skanska used new technologies for their online focus groups with consumers to get feedback on the design of the floor plans. And I really like that because they don't see each other they can be much more open because they don't know who the others are, they just know the first names. Sustainability entrepreneurs also openly include users in the development process of a sustainable solution. Food Assembly is an online platform that aims at re-establishing the links between food producers and consumers. Already at the very early stages of their entrepreneurial process, they integrated other external users to build a network of community leaders 
and to shape the further development of their sustainable solution. Sustainable enterprises describe startups which go beyond pure profit. They strive for social gains. They seek to pursue the triple bottom line of economic, ecological and social goals simultaneously. Sustainability challenges can be daunting, but solutions are out there and can also represent valuable business opportunities. Opening up traditionally internal R&D processes to include stakeholders beyond the usual business partners provides novel ideas and capabilities. Rather than starting with the wish to save the world, start small by looking at specific social and environmental problems for which finding a solution is of utmost importance for you. Alternatively, start with yourself. What are products that you are missing? Which products are you using could be in, improved in terms of sustainability? Turning to end users, public sector organizations, academia and non-profit organizations can inspire holistic solutions which could not have come from the companies alone. Find a good partner, put enough time and thinking there in that phase so you get it right because you will save that money later on in the process. Go do it. <laughs> get started. Uh, it's really important and, and there's no way you can find out all things yourself. <laughs>